entrance at last. Oh, those chambers couldn't hold you, I see. What a surprise. We've collected a bunch of evidence on all the nasty stuff happening at your factory. You're not getting away this time, Uter. The evidence on your person, you mean. <laughs> what makes you think I have any intention of letting it get past these walls? More mechanical guards? Really? Ever thought about using these funds for a legitimate purpose? Oh, but this is a legitimate purpose. What? Destroying Chioria Boutique? Or continuing to make your rotten rags? Proving that fashion is merely a laughable farce. A carnival of ignorance! <laughs> you know what your problem is, Uter? You've become so obsessed with the concept of fashion itself that you let it paralyze you. Stop trying to cater to it. Focus on your own work and you get to decide what fashion means. Spare me the lecture, why don't you? Sooner or later, you'll cater to all the voices too, you know. After all, what is fashion but another form of public opinion? Fashion is about aspiring towards a certain ideal. But it's up to you to decide what it is. My brand caters to no one but myself and my vision. That's my ideal, and it's not going to change. <laughs> well, once the people witness their former darling's spectacular fall, they'll understand how laughable that ideal truly is. That's what you've been trying to prove all this time? Your jaded understanding of the industry is the reason you've had it out for my brand for so long? <sighs> you weren't like this before, Uter. What happened to the man who wanted to make something that would bring the entire world to its knees? He realized long ago how utterly naive and ridiculous that dream was. You gave up on your dream, but that wasn't enough, was it? You had to find a way to prove to yourself that it could never have been possible at all. You think you understand, but you're just a bitter man who let his regrets dictate his choices. You regret giving up on your dream. So you stopped at nothing to prove to yourself that it wasn't the wrong choice. This whole thing, Uter. <laughs> it's pathetic. Pathetic? Why don't you take a look in the mirror? You're a fool daydreaming about taking all of Tevat by storm. Well, good luck doing that when even Fontaine doesn't have a place for you anymore. <sighs> You're right. Maybe all those who pursue their dreams are fools. But more pitiful still are cowards who are too afraid to even attempt what the fool is brave enough to try. You! Yeah, just leave this guy to us! No, you go instead. But he has a gun! It'll be fine. Just go to the venue and tell everyone to proceed with the plan. I'll deal with him. Some lessons are best delivered in person. Catch up with us soon! Trying to leave, are we? I've held back all this time because of our past partnership, Uter. <laughs> but all that changed after our tour of your factory. <laughs> Still trying to talk tough, I see. No matter what you've been through, no matter why you've become like this. If I may borrow the words of a friend, a guy like you doesn't deserve my sympathy. <laughs> Allow me to show you the true meaning of the Chioria brand. The Chioria brand represents more than a person or a trademark. It's a way of life. 
Greetings, friends at Fontaine Fashion Week. Please feast your eyes on the extravaganza that Chioria Boutique has prepared for you today. Brilliant, dazzling, and wholly unique. And most importantly, an enduring, never-say-die spirit. That's the true meaning of the Chioria brand. And now, let's welcome the thundering seamstress, Miss Chiori herself! Did Chiori not... Let the, the show, show begin. begin. The world may change, fashion along with it, but Chioria will remain the same. No challenge is too great. Chioria caters to no one. Not even the times. Rather, Chioria will always lead the fashion of our time. Finally, let's not forget. Only those who do not give up on their dreams are worthy of this brand. Well then, I suppose all that's left to say is, Happy Fashion Week, fellow dreamers. More to the left. Like this? Mm. Perfect. Phew. Oh, that looks great! Miss Chiori, can I take a picture? Of course. I didn't know you'd make a brand new signboard. I made it before Fashion Week. I figured it'd be best to put it up after the success of the show. Well, how can you become renowned through all of Tevat without a fancy signboard of your own? The spin is way ahead of you in that regard. Now that you mention it, perhaps our magic troupe could use one of those. Hmm... Our signatures are the Grin Malkin Cat and the Boggle Cat Box. Oh, and we need to add Pear as well. Pear would need an alias, of course. Hmm... How about... Ah, the Hangry Bird. <laughs> so, does that mean your signboard is going to be two cats and a penguin stuffed into a single hat? Ooh, that sounds super snuggly and warm. And a bit cramped. Miss Chiori, I'm done taking pictures. You can expect the article in tomorrow's Steambird, along with the evidence the Traveler gathered. Thank you, Charlotte. It's my pleasure. Bringing the truth to light is a journalist's duty. Going forward, feel free to custom order any accessories you need for Monsieur Verite. It's on the house. Huh? huh? You... you really mean it? Of course. The same goes for you too, Linny and Lynette. If you have need of any costumes in the future, just drop me a note. What about something other than a costume? Thank you, Chiori. It's much appreciated. Well, I don't really need anything. Just don't be a stranger, all right? I don't need anything either. So long as you continue to request my international courier services from Comania Express, we're golden. Actually, that reminds me. When will you be leaving, Kirara? Huh? Um, about that. The Spina di Rosula has prepared a special vehicle for you, so you can just get in and we'll push it all the way out of Fontaine. What? No, that's so embarrassing. Ooh, do we get something nice too, Chiori? Of course. Just hold on a second. Disrupting public order at the show, appropriating venue lighting equipment without authorization, using weaponry in public, 
hosting a dangerous performance without notifying the authorities. Um, Shivers, we can explain! If you come across anyone who matches those descriptions, please report them to the Special Patrol at your earliest convenience. Enjoyed that, didn't you? <sighs> you nearly scared me half to death. Says the one who pulled that stunt earlier. How about you do me a favor and tell me in advance next time you're planning something like that? And if I had, would you have approved? No, but it would have at least spared me a whole lot of anxiety. Well, I would say I more than made it up to you, have I not? A whole underground workshop in the flu of Sandra and the man responsible all tied up and handed to you on a silver platter. Sounds pretty thoughtful if you ask me. All right, I won't argue with you. You can have this one. Well, friends, I would say we've earned ourselves a nice meal for our efforts. Let's go. Spina's treat. I'll have to take a rain check. I've still got a lot of paperwork to take care of, so you all go have fun. Oh, by the way, Chiori, I ran into Vanger on the way here. He had a message for you. I don't need to hear it. I'm sure the old fool used pretty much every apology in the book. I'll just visit him some other day and give him a hard time about everything. <laughs> you know him well. Thanks again, Shelfress. My pleasure. Oh, and one last thing. That was really quite an amazing show. You don't say. All right, all right. Uh, follow me if you want in on the celebration feast. Come on, we're leaving. Traveler, Paimon, could you go wait for me at that place with the view? I'll let Navia know that we'll be a little late. There's something I'd like to give you. A place with the view? Oh, Paimon knows where you mean. Sure, no problem. Perfect. I'll be right there. 